So I wanted to ask a question on behalf uh, of an individual uh, who missed a few uh, fast intentionally, meaning they made a mistake. Uh, I tried searching uh, for an answer on many forums like Islam Q&A and even your past videos, but uh, all answers are relating to uh, breaking the fast intentionally rather than failing to keep the fast uh, due to an invalid reason. So in this case, they, uh, uh, they informed that they missed Sahur in the past as, as a result of being under the uh, influence of alcohol, or drugs, etc. So in, I informed them that since this is not a valid reason for missing the fast, that they may have to pay kafara. So is there a recompensation in this case for missing a fast or they just repent and make up their missed fast after Ramadan? First of all, there is no kafara for missing the fast intentionally or breaking your fast, except if a person has intercourse during the daytime of Ramadan, then this, there is this major expiation, which is freeing a slave, if not possible, fasting two consecutive months without breaking a day, if not possible, then feeding 60 poor people for having intercourse during the daytime of Ramadan. But other reasons, someone started fasting, then broke his fast by drinking or eating, then there's no expiation. He had committed a major sin and he has to make up for these missed days. And in our videos, we mentioned the opinion of Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen, where he says those who skip the fasting of Ramadan are one of two. Either someone who started fasting and in the middle of the day changed his mind and broke his fast. This person started a form of worship and broke it. So he is obliged to make it up. The other scenario is someone from nighttime intending, I'm not going to fast tomorrow. I don't have a reason, but I'm not going to fast. So there is no intention. This person can never make up for that missed day because he missed it intentionally and did not want to fast initially. And the time that was this form of worship prescribed at was missed. So he cannot make it up. Let him move on, repent, ask Allah for forgiveness, have deep remorse and do a lot of good deeds, hoping that Allah may forgive him. Now, if I understand your question correctly, someone who's been fasting for the past seven, eight days, and his intention was to fast the whole of uh, um, Ramadan. We say that the most authentic opinion is the first intention for the first day is sufficient. So when announced that tomorrow is Ramadan and you eat your pre-meal, uh, uh, pre-dawn meal, the suhoor, this is your intention, khalas. Do I have to have the same intention every single night? The answer is no because it's connected. So the first initial intention is sufficient. Unless you break the fasting by illness or by travel, then when you resume to fast a few days later, you have to have an intention at nighttime. Those who were intoxicated, they were drunk, they were drugged, though they intended to fast the following day, but they did not eat their pre-dawn meal because they were wasted. If they wake up in the middle of the day, continue to fast, their fasting is valid and they don't have to make it up and Allah knows best.